not a very difficult dish to do. Extremely easy and delicious. Hey, today I'm gonna to be doing a flounder that's gonna be baked using a panko breading with garlic and Parmesan cheese. Also, there's a second part to this I'm gonna be doing, which is a crawfish topping for the breaded panko flounder. And it's gonna be using a cream sauce. I wanted to do something that's relatively easy. Most of everything is a even measurement. So I spent some time breaking down the elements to try to get it to where it's as easy as possible to follow. And hopefully you, if you try this dish, it'll be easy. I am preheating the oven to 400 degrees. This is my favorite way to oven bake a fish. Instead of using grease or cooking spray, I used butter, I slightly melted it, and I smeared it all over the bottom of this. And one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a coating of salt, just a pinch of the Malden salt that I like to use, and take that and spread it across the bottom. I have one cup of panko, I have two thirds cup of the shredded Parmesan cheese. Uh, in this case, I used a store-bought uh, Parmesan and I manually shredded it using a cheese grater. And also I have one teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm also gonna use parsley and I'm gonna use a tiny bit of black pepper. The panko breading is simple. I'm using a gluten-free plain panko. What you wanna do is just sprinkle a little bit in there. You don't need to do a lot, but then now with black pepper, wanna be a little bit more with the black pepper. I'm gonna put a little bit in here, not a lot. Now, if you like a lot of pepper, it's gonna be up to you. That's why I didn't measure this out. If you're a pepper person, use a lot. If you're not a pepper person, you can even skip using pepper. The other thing is, salt. I'm taking a pinch and I take a relatively big pinch. I'm breaking up the salt crystals into this. I'm probably going to do two pinches. And now that I've got that, one thing you want to do with this, salt is the only thing I, I don't measure out because salt is different every time. Once you've got your ingredients in it, take a pinch of it and taste it. Okay, obviously I didn't add the garlic because it had zero garlic flavor to it. So I'm now gonna add the one teaspoon of garlic. I'm gonna add probably a third pinch and then I'm gonna taste it. And that should be enough. So this third pinch, I'm adding this in, breaking it apart. Should be good enough. Okay. Not too salty. And it's a little bit on the under salty side, but that's why I have the butter with the salt on the pan. So now I have two thirds cup of Parmesan and I'm gonna mix it up. The reason why I didn't want it to be too salty is because the Parmesan cheese has a lot of salt in it and it's gonna add a saltiness to it, so. Salt is the key ingredient in everything you cook. I always tell people, taste it. And in this case, it's perfect. I cut up butter into tiny little cubes. I'm gonna melt this in the microwave. I have my butter. I'm gonna put a paper napkin over it so it doesn't splatter in the microwave. Put this in here for about a minute. Let it melt the butter. Uh, I'm gonna also then add a little bit of lemon juice to it. So I put a little bit of lemon in the melted butter. The other thing you should do, look, take a fork, mix it around, taste it. If it's too lemony, add more butter. If it's not lemony enough, obviously add more lemon juice, but taste everything that you do. We have our flounder, we have our butter, we have our panko. The oven is at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll lay them in here over the butter that I have on the tray. 
what you want to do is take your butter with lemon or if you don't have lemon the melted butter you're going to basically baste it you're going to run this over the flounder get it nice and buttery once you have it all buttered up you're going to then top it with the panko and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to coat it and to be honest one cup i'm looking at this one cup is probably too much but that's okay it's better to have too much than too little so now that I'm coating this fish, make sure you get a really good coating on top of it. And any excess you have, it's not a bad idea. I just take this and let it drizzle over the top. Like such. Hopefully you can see this. I've got the camera angled enough. All right. This is the pre-panko flounder it's going to go in the oven 400 degrees probably going to put this for maybe 15 minutes and here we go using some butter and using a stainless steel pot i'm going to heat up the pot get it going i have about one tablespoon of shallots and I'm going to put this in here with the butter. So when the butter cooks the shallots, it's going to smell really good. Probably one of the best smells in the world is butter and shallots when they're cooking. Just know that shallots are much sweeter than onions. So it's going to have a certain sweetness to it, but that's where you counteract it with the salt and you counteract it with the type of fat which we're gonna be using crawfish as well as a little bit of seasoning. So what I'm doing is I'm melting the butter with the shallots, as you can see here. Letting us sink in, letting it cook a little bit. Also take a little bit of flour. So I've got butter, shallots. I'm gonna take a pinch of flour and throw this across like so okay not too much don't overdo it with the flour the flour is going to thicken the sauce so as i'm cooking this i've got this this frothy looking sauce here okay now i'm going to use a whole milk because the whole milk is going to produce a fat. So as this cooks down, the shallots are going to get a little bit brown. That's okay. The butter is going to brown a little bit. You're going to get a little bit of smoke. That's okay. That's what you want. So now that I've got that, I'm going to turn down the heat significantly down to like a medium low. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. So with this sauce, so for the sauce, I have a half teaspoon of thyme and I have a half teaspoon of white pepper. White pepper is important because it's going to give it the flavor without being too peppery like a dark pepper would be. And so the sauce should be this creamy looking sauce with the dark speckled in it. Don't be afraid to taste, but wash after you taste. Now that you have your base, take your crawfish. I use a package of pre-cooked crawfish. 
but I'm only using half of it. And the other thing, your salt. I'm gonna use a pinch, a very large pinch. I'm gonna use another pinch. I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna mix the sauce around. And the other thing you do, I have a little spoon here. Taste it. Nothing wrong with tasting it, because if you add too much salt or too little, you'll never know unless you taste. I'm going to do a pinch of flour to thicken the sauce up a little bit. And I did taste it. So, we have our sauce. It's done. It's creamy. It's not too salty. It tastes like it's going to be a very good compliment. One thing you could do, I mean, if you really want to, you can add mushrooms to this. It's going to be totally up to you, but this should be a compliment, not an addition to the baked flounder that we're doing with the panko. The broccolini is done. Real simple, just butter, salt, and I'm going to leave this alone. I turned off the heat for the broccolini. This is ready to go. Now it's just a matter of plating the fish in the oven. It's done. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to show you what it looks like. As you can see here, oh my God, it's freaking hot. <laughs> so what we have here, you can see it's slightly burned along the edges where there's no fish. It should be nice and crispy. You're gonna get some resistance from the fish itself. That's okay, you want that. Okay, we set this over here, move it over. Same with the other one. The butter should already be like completely seated in. I'm do that, set that in. You should be able to taste this panko. Really good. The panko and the parmesan alone. Really tasty. I'm moving everything over here. Getting my, I'm using a spoon. I'm just going to top it. Half of it on one, the other half on the other. Topping it evenly. Then I should have some sauce here. Now the sauce, drizzle it over. We've got our dishes. Next thing I'm gonna do is Take a little bit of your paprika, I'm, I'm sorry, take a little bit of your parsley, decorate it. This is all decoration, it's for looks. Paprika, paprika gives it that little bit of redness. Put a little thin layer of that over it, a little thin layer strip of that. This is done. You can decorate this with a lemon wedge, but in this case, I've got lemon. This is ready to be eaten. Here is the final product. And it should be something that you can impress your friends with. Not a very difficult dish to do. Extremely easy and delicious. All right, here's the end result of this meal. It was so, awful. Yeah, <laughs> wife approved. So, hey, if the wife likes it, it is a success. That's all that matters to me. There wasn't enough though. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, the portions were obviously not enough. GoPro stop recording.